What's up, it's Nick Jonas. Uh, I want to say a big thank you to Romeo. This is uh, my third most requested live Ask Me Anything, um, and they just get bigger every time. So thank you to him and all of you guys. My new CD last year was complicated. Uh, came out yesterday. It's very exciting for me. So make sure you go get that. Uh, we should get right into it. Kylie from Halifax says, uh, will we see you with long hair ever? I'm not sure. I haven't really decided if I'm keeping this this buzz or not, but I'll tell you what, this is really easy to do, uh, so it may have to stick. Um, Amy from Gibraltar says, what song for another artist would you have liked uh, to have as your own? Um, probably Hold On, We're Going Home by Drake. I wish that was my song. Terry from Carson City says, do you and your brothers have nicknames for each other? Not really, actually. We used to call Kevin KT and T because he would be on the phone all the time. Um, but that was that was about it. Uh, Chiara from Italy says, "What was the first CD you bought?" Love you, XX. You too. Um, first CD I bought was a Switchfoot CD, uh, "Beautiful Letdown," and also one of the first concerts I saw was Switchfoot at uh, at Irving Plaza in New York. Isabella from San Francisco. Any updates on how the ambassadors are going to be chosen? <sighs> Thank you. I did the dad when I sneezed. Um, Isabella from San Francisco says, any updates uh, on how your ambassadors are going to be chosen? Yes, lots of updates coming. I announced um, how you could enter. It was basically by posting a video, tagging me in it. It's all up on my Twitter and Instagram, so go check that out if you haven't. And submit to become an ambassador. All right. Let's see here. Destiny from Houston. How is working with Demi Lovato? Uh, Demi's awesome. Very good friend of mine. And just a, a, a brilliant person to be around. Amazing artist, obviously. Uh, but also a great friend. So it's always nice working with her. Brittany from Baltimore. Will the Jonas Brothers have a reunion in the future? I'm not sure. Uh, I think we're all happy doing separate things, doing what we're doing on our own. Um, it's a good time in all of our lives. Uh, so probably not really. But you never know. So maybe. Megan from Porterville. Have you ever written a song that was too personal to share? You know, nothing's really off limits. I kind of let it all out in the music. And, um, you know, I, I like to be vulnerable in music. I think it connects more. And hopefully you guys like that as well. Tamara from Montreal. What was your favorite part about working with Tovlo? Uh, Tovlo is amazing. She's fearless. Uh, she's all, you know, I think f from the minute we, sh we recorded the song and then started talking about the video, I knew it was going to be great because she was willing to, to go on the ride and, and um, really just go for it, which is so needed in something like that. Uh, Lauren from Miami. Are you going to play all your instruments on the upcoming tour, like bringing out your old red electric Gibson? Uh, maybe. I'm not, I'm not too sure. We're putting the show together now. Um, I do want to play a few instruments, but probably, yeah, guitar and piano. It's a little hard to play the drums, uh, because you're kind of, you know, you're so far from the audience, you don't have that connection when you're back there. Uh, Liz from Broken Arrow, where did you come up with the idea to do Last Year Was Complicated Documentary? Is this a new idea, or have you always wanted to do this? Uh, will Last Year Was Complicated be a title exclusive? No, Last Year Was Complicated will be, uh, available everywhere. And yeah, I think, you know, when I started realizing the record was going to be this personal and, and going to dive into some things that were very real to me, I thought it'd be good to, to give an even deeper look by uh, sharing, you know, kind of all that's happening in my world through this documentary. It also gives me the chance to, to, to just show more, you know, and, and, and continue to sort of uh, grow as an artist and, and be more vulnerable. And, and hopefully you guys like the documentary. I had a good time making it and we're still shooting right now. We're all on it. Um, all right, let's get to some more of these questions here. All right, hold on. Uh, Monica from Townsend says, first off, you're really awesome. Thank you. Like, seriously, awesomely awesome. LOL. So if you weren't in this kind of business, what would you want to do career-wise? Um, I'd want to be in sports somehow. Uh don't know exactly what, but some some sports, you know, baseball, golf, that'd be the goal. Reshmi from Somerville says, describe yourself without using any words. Um, 
What are the emojis when you need them? Alexis from Dallas says, in the song Champagne Problems, what artists or uh, songs inspired the backgrounds for the song? I sense a little MJ vibe, little Stevie Wonder. P.S. I love your dance moves. Thank you. Um, yeah, definitely. You know, Michael Jackson is one of my biggest influences. Stevie is a huge influence. Uh, I think those were probably pretty big uh, piece to the, the backgrounds on that song. Um, along with just, you know, my vibe. I try, I try to put my own kind of touch on, on everything I do and, and give it a specific vibe that, that you know is me when you hear it. Tori from San Diego. Will you and DNCE ever record a song together? Uh, not too sure. I mean, I, I love what they're doing and so happy for Joe and, and their success. Uh, we'll see. Won't count it out for sure. Uh, I don't have a question to ask, but I do want to say thank you. Uh, I'm actually going through a breakup, but listening to your music has made me feel like I wasn't alone in the world, I guess. Your music inspires me to do a better uh, and to be better to myself. And I'm glad you were able to share something with the world that was uh, so hard for you. So thank you, and I wish you more, much more greatness in the future. Thank you. That's very kind. Uh, Aliyah from Vancouver. Is the new CD going to snatch my weave and make me go bald? Wow. Interesting. I don't know. Is that a, a, maybe? Who knows? All right, Pearl from India. What was it uh, like living with Joe? It's great. I did it for many years, and then we decided to move in together now, and, and it's it's great. He's a good roommate. Um, nice to have each other to come home to and, and hang, get to talk and catch up. Because uh, we're both so busy now, uh, and you know that support is is key. Daisy from Los Angeles. Favorite song to perform live. Uh, I think Jealous is, is really special. Um, you know, hearing people sing that back to me is one of the best feelings in the world. And um, I love the live arrangement as well. Anna from Norfolk. What's the best pickup line you've ever used? Um, I don't really use pickup lines. It's not like a thing. You know, like, how, how's your ass? Because she fell from the moon. Or, I don't even know what that is. But that's one of them. It's like, are you an astronaut? Cause what's the moon like? I don't do that stuff. Nina from Cleveland. How many countries will the new tour visit, and how long do you expect to be on the road for those uh, shows? Um, right now, it's just the U.S. and Canada, but we're working on plans for the rest of the world, whether we go together with the Future Now tour uh, or Demi and I do separate tours in you know, Europe and Asia, Australia, all that. So we'll, we'll figure it out, but uh, I'm really hopeful that I can come and do shows for all my fans all around the world. Shannon from Boise, what's your least favorite food? My least favorite food? I don't know. I'm 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 kind of all over the map when it comes to food. I, I like everything, uh, and I, there's really nothing that I won't try. Uh, Allison from Rosemead, what is your favorite thing about your fans? Um, I think you know they're really passionate. Uh, they've supported me for a long time, and I'm incredibly grateful for that. Uh, but also, I think they they've really tuned in on on how to make an impact social media and, and support me in many different ways and get other people inspired and, and involved, which means the world. All right. We have a few more here. Um, Jasmine from San Antonio. Would you rather eat a hippo or wrestle a rhino? It's for, it's for science. Don't question it. Huh? Um, I, neither. Sorry. Jasmine from San Antonio. Lauren from Pittsburgh. Hi, Nick. As a type 1 diabetic like you, I was wondering what kind of things uh, you do with Beyond Type 1. Um, a lot of different things. You know, I think the main focus for us is raising awareness and educating people on the differences between Type 1 and Type 2, uh, and also raising money for research. You know, the, the cure is the ultimate goal, so it's all about just uh, doing our best to get there. And, um, you know, the educational pieces and the community that's built online is really great. So go check out beyondtype1.org, the Facebook and Instagram. It's really cool. Jerry from Evanston. This is for your non-music biz friends that you have. Uh, which female singer that you know do they ask to meet the most? What? Which female singer that you know do they... Oh, got it. Um, I don't know. I mean, friends that I have that aren't in the music. Okay, so... Maybe maybe Demi. Demi's a great person. People like meeting her, I think. Tiffany from Santa Clara. 
Would you consider doing a song with Shawn Mendes or Bruno Mars? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, Shawn's awesome. Good friend of mine. Great, great guy. And Bruno is awesome. Met him a few times. Um, I'd be down for either one. If it, if it happens organically and the collaboration feels right, I'm all for it. Patty from Long Island. How many freebie copies of Last Year Was Complicated do you give to friends and family? I don't, I don't do that. Like as, as gifts, be like, hey guys, happy birthday. Here's my CD. Um, doesn't seem like the coolest thing to do. <laughs> would be funny, though. Uh, thanks for all the questions. This was a lot of fun. Uh, don't forget, my new CD last year was complicated. It's out now. Thanks to Romeo again. You're the man. Always good. Always good hanging with you. And I uh, hope to see you again soon. Guys, thanks for everything and all your questions. Bye.